Good morning, all of you. In the last class, we get the example of a group that is nothing but a set of integers and a real addition. Now we are going to discuss a set of even integers and a real addition is a group or not. Very important for your examination. Okay. What is set of even integers? We are indicated them by two z. Two z means two into two multiples of uh, integers. What are the format? Let us write them in roster form. Suppose a is an element of uh, even integer. It is of the form two into integer. Here I wrote it p as integer. So we can read it as two into integer. That means uh, two multiples of integers are nothing but even integers. Now we have to show that it is a group. In group means we have to verify all four properties. What is the first property? It is nothing but closure property. To verify this property, we have to take two elements. Let us them A and B. Whenever they are the elements of even integers, they are in the form of two integer multiples. Isn't it? Right. So A is of the form 2 into P and B is of the form 2 into Q. Where P and Q are obviously integers. Now we have to show that to verify closure property A plus B. Under addition we have to prove that it is a satisfying closure property. So A plus B we have to take. If the composition is dot, we have to consider the composite element as A dot B. Here uh, the composition is given as addition. That's why we are considered the composite element as A plus B. Now we want to show that this composite element is in our set. It is enough to prove that this composite element is of the form 2 into some integer. Okay. Let us consider let us replace the values of a and b respectively what is a value 2 into p what is b value 2 into q which can be written as the common in 2 you can write p plus q when are p and q are integers in the last class we discussed that any two integers addition is again integer isn't it closure property verified in z under usual addition. So this is an integer. We can write it as 2 into n where n is equal to p plus q. Obviously it is an integer. So now observe that a plus b is of the form 2 into integer. So such mode of elements are present in the set. So we can say that uh, addition in even integers is closed. So closure property verified in the set of even integers. The heart of the problem is main, pro main property is closure and second one is existence of identity. But here in order to we have to prove all the properties. In order what is the next property in order that is nothing but associative property. To verify this property, we have to take three elements. Whenever they are the elements of even integers, they are of the form two multiples, two integer multiples. Right? Right. Now, consider A plus B. This value is equal to 2P plus 2Q. And B plus C, which is equal to 2Q plus 2R. Now, consider the composite element a plus b plus c which is equal to what is this value a value is 2p plus b plus c value is 2q plus 2r which can be written as um, 2p plus by commoning 2 we can write q plus r again common 2 we can write p plus q plus r now observe that in one that means associative property in the integers set of integers under addition we can write any three integers follows associative property under addition so p plus q plus r can be written as p plus q plus r so instead of p plus q plus r from one how can we write it p plus q plus r from 
this is equal to again by transforming to to the two elements p plus q plus 2r what is that value this is nothing but enclosure property this value 2p plus 2q plus 2r this value is nothing but from closure property this value is a plus b here you can observe that plus 2r means 2r value 2r is nothing but c you had considered a plus b plus c value it is identically equal to a plus b plus c so we can say that addition plus is associated in the set of even integers now let us discuss the next properties what are the next properties they are nothing but existence of identity third property is existence of identity you know that what is i added to identity is always zero isn't it existence of identity additive identity is always zero is it zero is an even integer or not let us take it you can write it to as 2 into 0 as 2 into 0 that means it is an even integer belongs to 2z such that if we add any even integer to e which is equal to a a means what is the value of a already considered in the closure property that is 2p plus 2 into 0 identity means here we can write it as 2 into 0 which is equal to 2 into p plus 0 is nothing but 2p p plus 0 is p so 2p what is 2p value it is again a because a is equal to 2p we are considered here so a similarly we can prove that e plus a is equal to a for every a this being true so in the even integer set what is the identity element Zero exist, so you can say that this is a monoid up to this. In the later, we can discuss the fourth property. What is the fourth property? Existence of inverse. Existence of inverse property. Whenever a is an even integer, then a is of the form two p, where p is an integer. that means we can whenever p is an integer obviously minus p is also integer for example 2 is an integer minus 2 is also integer not a natural number it is an integer so whenever minus p is an integer that implies minus 2p is 2 into 2 into minus p what is this value we can write it as minus 2p 2 into integer multiple where it is in our set even integers such that allowed in the new format suppose we can call it as b a plus b is equal to 2p plus what is b value here consider minus 2p is equal to 2p plus of minus minus 2p is equal to 0 what is this value in the last uh, come in the last property we discussed that zero is identity now observe that a plus b is equal to e then we can say that b is the inverse of a so what is b value minus 2p e is the inverse of which element 2p is being true for all elements so we can observe that all elements in the even integer set having inverse elements respective inverses so up to this we can say that uh, even integers under addition is a group right 